Oh, good thing you're sitting down and ready to go for this one in time. This should be electric. Eastern Conference hostilities renewed, and we got you covered here on EA Sports. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Bulls start with possession as we are now underway. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Hooked away by Hedman. The Lightning have the puck against the boards. And now it's grabbed by Chernak. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Palat. Stopped by the goaltender. Can't connect. And they keep the pressure on. Quick feed down low. Quick pass to Palat. Let's it fly. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Manages to hang on. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Smothered that in close chance. Oh, that's a huge stop by Vasilevsky. Quick feed to Chernak. And they won't connect on that one. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. They're playing the game downhill. Here comes the pushback. Hedman's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Now he's just slowly working his way to the bench, James, where the training staff's going to look at him. Had an awkward play earlier in the shift, and he doesn't look very good right now. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Icing is the call. We'll get a face off at the other end. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The game is still scoreless. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Oh, he digs in and wins the draw there. Now they can get out of the zone. Made the save on the play. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. The Hurricanes take it across the line. Here's a chance right in front, and they can't convert to the play. Centering pass in front. Grabbed along the board by Trocek. And no luck on that pass attempt. Oh, what a save in front. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Centering pass. Goaltender was stopping that one. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Moves it to Niederreiter. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Tampa Bay is ready to go on the attack. And that's poked away. Into the offensive zone. A chance! Misses the net! You're going to go back and kick yourself for that one because he wants that on the net. He doesn't miss it by much. Scooped up along the wall by Niederreiter. Puck picked up by Sorelli. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Centering pass. Here's a chance in front. Pass right in front. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Hedman's defensive game is his primary focus, guys, but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. Aho's third eye zone ability means he can distribute the puck so well. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. Moves it quickly over to Colton. And that one's broken up. Feeds the puck to Aho. 
Tampa Bay's got it from behind the net. Harry's got the puck along the wing. The Bolts play it along the wing. That pass doesn't go. Denies him. He got all of it. Oh, another consecutive stop. He scores. Now the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. Well, that penalty really cost them. They're shorthanded. They could never clear the zone under all kinds of pressure. And finally, the penalty killers crack. They give up the power play goal. Good read with the stick to break that up. Picked off in the offensive end. Keeps hold of the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Steps inside. The Hurricanes gain possession in their own end. Shot on the tip. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. And now it's over to Palat. Picked off by Slavin. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Quick pass to Palat. Can't connect on the pass. Picked up along the boards by Pesci. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Stepan. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. The Bolts win it. Here's a short pass to Palat. The Hurricanes have it now. Taken by Stamkos. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Bulls have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Ajo's won the draw here in the offensive zone. They'll be back on their heels. They lose the draw after they've iced the puck. They're a little tired. Right in the slot, and just out of arm's reach on the play. The Hurricanes gain possession. Quick feed to Ajo. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. And they continue to apply pressure here. Taken along the wall by Chernak. Moves it to Stamkos. Hangs onto the puck. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Tampa Bay's got possession here in the offensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Moves it quickly over to Natchez. The Bulls in all alone. Big time stop. Shows off his athleticism to follow the puck. The deke is made and he's still right there. Picked up along the wall by Pesci. He carries the puck up along the wing. Centering pass! Can't get it to click. Quick pass to Paul. Play to balance. It's a two-on-one. Whoa. He scores! That's three in a row! This is turning into an onslaught. There seems to be no way to slow them down. Such a strong move to the net. Watch how he gets his body between the puck and the defender. Nobody can reach far enough to get the puck off his stick, and then he focuses enough to get it into the net. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Trocek. Great reach with the poke check. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Kalorn's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. The Hurricanes will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. This group's such a fantastic power play unit. They move the puck well. They're dangerous from three or four different spots on the ice. And now they've got a chance in their first attempt tonight to get back in the game. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. The Bolts are in transition. Quick feed to Belmar. And that's blocked. Wow. He scores. That's a short-handed marker. James, they took advantage of one little crease, and they were able to race up the ice, get themselves a shorthanded marker here. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. 
The Bolts win the draw here in the neutral zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Trocek's carrying it ahead. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Denies him in close. Well, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. McDonough's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Five on three, man advantage looms, but time is certainly on the penalty killing unit side here. Power play jumps onto the ice here, and they'll remember the shorthanded goal they gave up to kind of remind themselves just to make sure everybody's in the right spot. That goes off a twig. Moves it to Natchez. Kaloran's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded as he joins the kill. Stalls ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Bolts win the draw. Paul swinging the puck through center ice. Here we go, it's a two on one. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. The Hurricanes with a two-man advantage power play coming up. Quick puck movement is the way to move these defenders around. If you move it slowly, they're just going to stay in the middle and there's no chances. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. From the slot, wrist shot. Quick stop by Vasilevsky. Denies him again. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. Here's a chance with the stop. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. The Hurricanes ready to go on the attack. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Vasilevsky. There's another stop. I love the way that he's in position, and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. And Colt, oh, he ripped that right after the whistle. What's he thinking? Jarvis is roaming around looking for somebody else to fight. He just can't find it. Another face-off looming here on this power play. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. The Lightning have the puck while under man. Carolina's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. Oh, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. To his teammate, and that's picked off. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. The Lightning have the puck in the defensive zone. And that's knocked away. Tampa Bay's got the puck here in the open ice. Takes the shot. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Anderson's one of the group today for sure. It's not been very good from him all the way out. And now he angles it across to Niederreiter. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by McDonough. The Lightning have gained control of the puck along the wall. And that's offside stopping the play. Here in the late goings of the period, the Bolts came out with jump, and they have been non-stop right from the start, leading 4-0. Puck scooped up by Sergachev. The Hurricanes take possession here in the open ice. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Moves it quickly over to Kalorn. Poked away by Stepan. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Sergachev. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Carolina's got the puck. And that's poked away by Kotkaniemi. And 
that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray Ferraro is between... He scores! That's how you do it! Leadership to a T! The captain capitalizes! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Tampa Bay's won the draw in the neutral zone. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Cuts to the paint. Oh, that's a big time save. I think he got it with the toe. One of the premier players in the game shooting the puck on the move. That snapshot's delivered on net. Forces the goaltender into a save. Look out. Yeah, that, you didn't say that quick enough. He got flattened. Perfect timing to get on the board. Man, they would have liked this a long time ago, James. They've been working away trying to punch through. They finally get one by the goaltender. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. The Hurricanes have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scores out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Puck grab by Hedman. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Tampa Bay's got the puck in their own end. Off a stick and they can't connect. The Bolts played along the boards. Jabs the puck away. Out front, brings the bell up the post. The Bolts have a big, comfortable lead here. They're way up and in no danger in this game, but you know the shooter would want that one. Slides the puck across. Carolina's got possession at center. The Lightning have gained possession off the wall. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. And now it's grabbed by Trocek. The Bulls get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it against the wall. The Bulls are winning this game tonight in large part to the way that this second line is performing. They've been productive, they've been dominant when they're on the ice, and it gives everybody else a break as they can look to this line to carry the day. And that's blocked away. The Hurricanes will play it against the wall. Stop that one. Had to be sharp, that's a great A chance. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Here he is wow. with the backhander, and he scores! And some signs of life here on one end of the, end of the bench. Well, you got to dig in for anything positive you can. I mean, if I'm the goal scorer, I'm pretty pumped that I got on the board. But you look up at the big board, and you realize you got a long way to go. The team's got to dig in a little bit here. Can you get another quick one? Can you get yourself in some way, shape, or form back in this game? More than half the period left to play. Carolina's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. Grabbed along the board by Stahl. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Bulls lead at 5-2. Sorelli's won it off the faceoff. Carolina's got it behind the net. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Scooped up along the wall by Stahl. And here's a shot. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. The Hurricanes will go to work here in the offensive zone. The Bulls get a hold of the puck in their own end. Taken by Gardner. Takes a shot, and that one's stopped. Bears scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Stays with it. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. 
Great poke by Hagel. And that one's broken up. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And that's knocked away by foot. And the puck departs the zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Tampa Bay's got him along the wall. Good hit on the play. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Bulls have been the better squad so far tonight. They lead it 5 2. Tampa Bay's won the draw. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Oh, smart heads on play to poke that one away. The Hurricanes gain possession. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Great defensive play at center by Stepan. Tampa Bay's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Who had the edge? Carl standing by with the answer. Hedman's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Broken up by Stamkos. Puck picked up by Kalorn. It's a three on one. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. That's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. Wow, what a shot, guys. His 1T superstar ability is that power he gets behind those one-timers. And with a solid setup, he let that one rip. Puck scooped up by Slavin. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Stamkos. Works it across to Palat. Handles the puck. The Bolts moving in. Under a minute to go in the third. Hammers it from the point, and that banks off a stick. Here's a short pass to Slavin. Puck picked up in the open ice. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Carolina's got it, and they're on the attack. Couldn't complete the pass. Break away. Whoa. Scores! That is some clinical finish. And what a great shot. I mean, he gets in the offensive zone. He's looking shot all the time. He's also loving the one-timer, and he does not miss. We watch him do this time and again in practice. Of course, there's no goalies in there because who wants to volunteer for this? But this is a missile. The one-timer flows right by the goaltender. Guys, his teammates love looking for him to set him up for these shots here. The 1T zone ability, it's just as much fun for him to score as it is for his teammates to set him up for those one-timers. Tampa Bay's gained possession along the boards. The Hurricanes take possession in the defensive end. Great pressure on the offensive end by Paul. And he's able to handle that one. No, he, he scores! He thought he had it, but it must have gone off him. It's in the net, and that's a goal. Wow, did he hammer that. Too much power for the goalie to control, and it hits him and still goes in. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. The Bulls put the special in special teams tonight. They seem to be 